Hi. How are you doing, Carly? Doing pretty good. How are you doing? Doing all right. And um, you we're here at the Van Build, Jamie's Van Build, 2018. I'm Curious Carly, and this is Jorgen, and we're going to check out his shuttle bus. Yeah. Let's so, go. Yeah. What? Uh, it looks like you've got an E450 Super Duty. Yep. It's, uh, it's a 2006. 2006. When I bought it, it had just under 80,000 miles. Nice. And you bought it in St. Cloud? St. Cloud, Minnesota. Yep. It was on Craigslist for about three months before I even started nibbling. <laughs> yeah. So. And, uh, and so what got you into it? What even got you on Craigslist to look for a van? Well, I kind of was unhappy with my life as it was, mm -hmm. being disabled and such. I mean, it doesn't look like it, but yeah. yeah. So, um, and I was watching videos. Your your channel was one of them. Uh, Jamie's channel was one. Uh, Seven. Yeah. Uh, Jack's. Uh, Joey's channel from New York. Uh, oh boy, there's Wonder so Booms. many. There's yeah. so many that I like watching and. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing. So, so I decided, you got inspired, inspired to come out. Yeah, I just decided, you know what? I'm going to get myself a vehicle. I wasn't sure what kind it was. Mm -hmm. So I just came out. Yeah, and this is a big <laughs> space. Let's go look inside. Yeah, go ahead. Wow. So this is my messy inside at this point. <laughs> it's in the middle of construction. Mm -hmm. But you're making good progress on it here at the van build. You've got your sink and countertop. Which was just made here by the by the uh, carpentry department. Oh, it's and so nice. And these guys are great. Yes, they do awesome work. And I also had a, let's call, it's not a real composting toilet, but okay. it's a separating toilet. Okay, separating so toilet. So you separate your feces from the urine. Yeah. And which priming it right now? Yeah, I'm actually painting the inside to seal it so nothing leaks out in case there should be an accident. Yes, and uh, you're going to use the cedar chips as yes. your... Um, I'm using cedar bedding, which is yep, readily available at Walmart. Yeah, and it's not too expensive, right? No, it's like a... What? Between three and five bucks, one of these bags. Yeah. Show so, me the separator. The separator, I don't have it hooked up yet, but uh, there is a bucket that goes in the back. I'll set it up out here. And then you have this in the front, and the funnel would go in here. Awesome. So yeah. So that's how it works. And it, this container is a little smaller, uh, uh, a little bit too large. I have to find a smaller and usually comes with cat litter or something like that. Mm -hmm. So that's what I use. Nice. It's going to be a really easy system for you to take care of. So. Um, and what are some other projects you've got going on? Well, uh, as you can see, I got some plywood. Yes. And that's going to be over here. Uh, underneath this window there will be a bench seat for two people to sit mm -hmm. or for one people to lounge and look out the window and there were people here at the van build that actually hemmed up my curtains oh, so they don't drag on the floor look at how good they are they're so good yeah they're, the sewing group they is just very nice open it up and you can look out the window. It's beautiful. And right now there's a couple of kitchen cabinets back there. They're gonna come out eventually. When uh, my uh, bench seat is made. And yes, it's a big mess, but it's a work in progress. Yeah, you're getting a lot of stuff done here. Yeah. So hopefully it'll be semi-livable by the end. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Nice. How's your life now, Jorgen? Has it changed? A lot better. I'm more relaxed. I don't worry about what tomorrow has. I just live for today. That's really good. And that's just what I wanted to do. 
Nice. You said you were disabled. How's <coughs> your health now? Has it changed? Um, it has changed in so far as that I don't, because I made dietary changes, that I don't need insulin oh, for good. diabetes, which is a great start. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm losing weight, and I know it doesn't look like it, folks, but yeah. <laughs> it's, it's you. I started out, I was 350 pounds. And I'm not that much, not that heavy anymore. I'm down to about three and a quarter, maybe. And this is just in, I don't know, what, a couple months. So, so just a dietary change, and pretty much a dietary mess. change. I, I can't walk too much because of sciatica mm -hmm. and arthritis, and so I have to sit a lot. But I get things done. Mm -hmm. Here and there. Yeah. Yeah, you got a lot Just a on. little bit at a time. How is it that the lifestyle has helped you change your diet, change your physical... I don't diet? have a refrigerator yet. So that's probably one of the biggest changes. So I can't... I don't like keeping bread around because it gets moldy and I don't eat a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Very, very little. If I have a burger every now and then, that's all the bread I eat, really. Mm -hmm. Other than that, vegetables and uh, canned products. Yeah. Do you think it's helped that you're happy and you've kind of found a group and you don't have the financial pressure? Right. Well, that's another thing. When you're on Social Security and try to make a living, it's not working. There is not a lot of money on Social Security, and people think it's such a great gift to everybody. Well, no, it's not. I paid into it all my life. <laughs> so now I'm getting it back, and I'm. it's not enough to rent an apartment, pay your bills, and buy groceries and medication on top of everything. Not enough. Mm -hmm. So now I have enough to have my own house, get a little bit aside in case something breaks, and here you go. And by your own house, you mean this? This is my house. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice house. Great. People think I'm homeless, but no, I'm not. This is my home. Call it home free. Hmm? We call it home free. Home free. There you go. I like that. Home, home. free. <laughs> home is where the heart is, and my heart's in the desert. Beth calls it wheel estate. <laughs> wheel estate. Wheel estate. I like it. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> it's a good one. Well, thank you for sharing your home with us. Oh, yeah. it's my pleasure. Thank you so much. If you want to come back sometime. Be yeah, free. when it's done. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to check it out then. Well, you know, I don't know if it's ever going to be done. A work in progress. It's always going to be a work in progress because, you know, today I might like something, but tomorrow, who knows? That's I, good. I just might want to put a screw here and <laughs> call it a light post, right? <laughs> It's great that you made it to the van build. I'm glad that you got some work done. I'm so thankful for Jamie for putting this on. This is an awesome thing. Thanks, Jamie, for everything that you've done for everybody out here. Yeah. Thanks. It's, it's been incredible. And thank you so much for letting us look at your rig again. My so, pleasure. You guys good... have a blast. Yeah, you too. Thanks. See you at the campfire. You bet. <laughs> Take care.